In today's video, I'm going to walk you through display URLs, what they are, how to adjust them, and the best practices for them. Now, before we get begin, I just want to show you what a display URL actually looks like in real life and what it appears to your customer as. Uh, as you can see here, torontoregionheating.com slash Toronto underscore region slash HVAC slash repair. This little bit here is a display URL that they are most likely using uh, as compared to their competition, Mersey Heating, which chose not to use one, and Burlington Heating, which also chose not to use one. Um, these are really nice to really amplify what your customer is looking for. So if they're really looking for, you know, Toronto region HVAC, this just makes your ad a little bit bigger and, and it makes it resonate with your customer a bit more. So to actually change them inside Google ads, we're going to click on the campaign we want to adjust it in. And then we're going to click on the actual ad group. And this can be changed at a campaign or ad group level. I prefer changing about the ad group level just because it's nice and easy to understand. We're going to click on ads and extensions, and then we're going to click on ads. Uh, now we've set this up as a demo account for title pools. They're a company that installs pools. Uh, we're going to click on here on the, the little pen or pencil. And now we can come down to here and this is our display URL. Now there's a difference between final URL and display URL. The final URL is where you're actually going to send the traffic to. So anyone who clicks on this ad is going to titlepools.ca. But anyone who sees this ad is actually going to see titlepools.ca fiberglass pool installation, as you see here. Uh, now, this is really nice because it really resonate, it really allows you to resonate with your customer's problem, and it makes your ad a bit bigger. So the bigger you can make your ad, the more likely it is to be seen, the more likely it is to be clicked on. And that's the name of the game when it comes to ads. Uh, you want them to have as high click-through rate as possible. This bumps your quality score up and makes your campaign more successful. Now, if we wanted to change this, all you have to do is click on it and you can enter in whatever you want. So say we were doing vinyl pools. You could type in uh, vinyl pools, vinyl pool installation, and there you go. Now we've changed it. Now the best practices for this is you really want to uh, relate to the customer's problem and the keyword you're targeting. So if we're targeting fiberglass pools, we really want this to be fiberglass pools. We don't want this to be uh, vinyl pools. Now, if we want to save all of this, all we have to do is scroll down to the bottom and then find save ad, click save ad, and your ad, new ad will be saved with the new display path. I know this may seem simple, but a lot of companies choose just not to use display URLs because they're lazy and they don't want to put in all the little bits of, you know, keyword relevancy and the customer's problem relevancy. So th they really miss out on an opportunity just to make their ad a little bit better than the competition. And this is something everyone should be doing inside Google Ads just to get that little bit more of an edge and show the customer you really care about their problem. And it's going to make them a little bit more likely to click on your ad compared to the uh, competition. So this has been display URLs. Uh, they're pretty easy to change. I would recommend making sure your URL is really relevant to the customer. So if you're targeting a keyword like fiberglass swimming pools, put swi fiberglass swimming pools and make it really relatable to the customer's problem. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.